and coming to the cellular level action of uh, dexmedomidin the alpha 2 adrenoreceptor is a g protein coupled receptor normally in the resting state this gdp the gynosin diphosphate is bound to subunit of g protein which is itself bound to the receptor here once you give dexmedomidin it binds to the alpha 2 receptor which causes a conformational change in the g protein this results in the activation of ga subunit alpha subunit of g protein and the exchange of gdp to gtp happens here you can have the gtp so as the dexmedomidin goes to alpha 2 receptor some changes happen in g protein and this alpha subunit gets exposed and gtp becomes gtp now as the dexmedomidin has bound to the g protein receptor this beta and gamma dissociates from the complex and activates inward rectifier potassium channels thereby potassium efflux happens and there is hyperpolarization of nerve terminal this is the second change which happens as potassium increases and hyperpolarization happen this in turn inhibits voltage gated calcium channel so your calcium is inhibited this reduced calcium impairs the secretion of neurotransmitter so this is the final step your neurotransmitter release is prevented by addition of dexmedomidin to alpha 2 receptor in parallel the activated g protein gtp complex also inhibits adenyl cyclase thereby reducing cam production which has multiple downstream effect this is how the stimulation of alpha 2 receptor happens at the cellular level now coming to the systemic effect when you have a surgery the stress of surgery activate two axes one is hypothalamo pituitary axis another is sympathetic adrenomedullo axis two axes are being activated this hypothalamus pituitary axis will stimulate the adrenal gland and release cortisol this sympathetic nervous system will cause the release of epinephrine and norepinephrine through locus ceruleus another important thing which happens with the stress of surgery is inflammatory response where your cytokines goes up and there is decreased immune function which is mediated via t cell b cells and natural killer cells now by giving dexmedomidin you are stimulating the alpha 2 receptor you are suppressing the hpa axis you are suppressing the sympathetic nervous system axis and you reduce the inflammatory response you decrease the pro inflammatory cytokines and increase your anti inflammatory cytokines and through immunity it improves the immunity function it improves the innate immunity and increases the adaptive immunity too so with dexmedomidin you reduce cortisol you reduce norepinephrine and epinephrine you reduce the inflammatory mediator and improve the immune function too the foremost action of dexmedomidin is to prevent the release of norepinephrine normally at the neuromuscular junction you have the synaptic vesicle which releases norepinephrine and this norepinephrine combines with alpha 1 receptor and causes vasoconstriction this is alpha 2 receptor this dexmedomidin goes and combine with alpha 2 receptor and sends a negative feedback to the synaptic vesicles not to release the norepinephrine so norepinephrine does not bind with alpha 2 receptor and vasoconstriction is prevented